her supporters, Sonia Sotomayor embodies the American dream. She's a self-made woman who rose from humble roots in a poor neighborhood of New York City to become a federal judge. Now she's nominated to the highest court in the land. I strive never to forget the real world consequences of my decisions on individuals, businesses, and government. President Obama says Sotomayor's extensive legal experience, combined with a common touch and a sense of compassion, make her an ideal nominee for the court. And when Sonia Sotomayor ascends those marble steps to assume her seat on the highest court of the land, America will have taken another important step towards realizing the ideal that is etched above its entrance, equal justice under the law. Sotomayor now faces confirmation hearings before the Senate Judiciary Committee, where Republicans have promised tough but fair questioning. The hearings will be a major political test for President Obama, says longtime Republican advisor Tom Korologos. So the stakes are very high for the presidents must win those issues. If they don't, it reflects and it uh, resonates down through their entire term on other issues as they come forward. In 1987, the failed nomination of Robert Bork heralded a new era of contentious political battles over Supreme Court appointments. Now, liberal and conservative activists are preparing to spar over the Sotomayor nomination. Doug Kendall is president of the liberal Constitutional Accountability Center in Washington. She is a good, solid judge who looks carefully at the law and, and rules based on the law, and that's, I think, what a judge should be. Conservatives take issue with Judge Sotomayor's comments years ago that a wise Latina woman would make better legal decisions than a white male who has not lived her kind of life. Tom Fitton is president of Judicial Watch. She's the wrong person for the bench. She's too political and uh, uh, she has a chip on her shoulder when it comes to race and uh, there's got to be better nominees out there. Fitton says his group is trying to rally conservatives to defeat the nomination in the full Senate. Well we have a 25,000 plus email list, we have a 130,000 plus uh, uh, mailing list, uh, so we have a pretty big megaphone and we've been telling our members to contact their senators and let their views be known about Judge Sotomayor. Sotomayor should be careful in responding to Republican attacks during the hearings, says Tom Korologos. Uh, reports are surfacing that during her judgeship on the Second Circuit, uh, she had a temper and it flared. Well, uh, if it flares in the hearing, she's got a problem. But Republicans must also use restraint when they question Sotomayor, he says, and consider the next election. 37, 38 percent of the vote is going to be Hispanic. And they are proud people over what this appointment has done uh, to their uh, society. This is a big thing for them. So you vote against her at your peril. With Democrats controlling 60 of the 100 seats in the Senate, most experts believe Sotomayor will be confirmed in time for the Supreme Court's next term beginning in October. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington.